Cisco Duo, import users using Active Directory Sync. Couple ways of getting users into Duo. And you can see we have four here to start. You can use CSV, you can do self-enrollment, which we showed, or you can use Directory Sync and do Azure, Active Directory, or Open LDAP. We're gonna use Active Directory, we're gonna give this a name, and then we're gonna walk through these steps. Now, one thing to note, as you're going through these steps and you save certain portions of it, you're gonna see the screen go all the way back up to the top real quick. Um, and that's just to show you whether the test passed or the configuration saved, um, and then start the next step. Here's the authentication proxy settings that we need, and we're gonna download those, and we're gonna copy them and put them in our auth proxy configuration file. But you need integration key, secret key, API host name, and if you're using an NTLM, you're gonna use a service account and a password. You want that password encrypted. We are not, we're gonna use SPI and we'll show that uh, very, very quickly here. So let's go ahead and do the installation. And you can see it's pretty quick. And what's gonna happen here is it's gonna prompt us um, to configure the authentication proxy configuration file. And we're gonna have some configuration items already pre-built into the, the configuration file. In our case, we're only going to use this to import users. Um, at this point, nothing else. And so you could keep the uh, base configuration. I'm gonna just clean it out. The documentation from Duo is excellent. So if you wanted to add something like Radius, you know, read the documentation, it'll provide the, uh, the details that you need to add to that file anyway or make a backup of it. So let's go ahead and open this up in Notepad. We'll get rid of this. We're gonna go ahead and copy our um, cloud information, specifically the I key, S key, and API host. We'll copy that over and we will wipe out everything that's in here. We'll paste it in and we'll hit save. And let's go ahead and restart or start our dual proxy. In our case, it hasn't started yet. We're going to start it. And it has been successfully started. So let's go ahead and jump back to Duo and test the connection. And this is that bounce back up, right? Now we're past the Duo authentication proxy connection. Now we're at the directory connection. So go ahead and add a domain controller. You'll have multiple. I only have one in my example. And then we'll move into the base DN. In my case, it's going to be DC equals Cisco, DC equals local. Once that's done, then we get into the authentication types. We're going to use integrated. So the auth proxy is actually joined to a domain. The NTLM version 2, version 1, and plain. Then transport type, you should use LTAP-S or start TLS. In our case, we're not going to worry about that. SAM account name is the username. Display name, email, you can import user notes. You can also import phones. Now, when you save this, and I hit save here, you're gonna see it bounce all the way back up to the top because I can't select the groups until I save it. So now let's jump down to the groups. These are This is where we wanna pull the users from. In my case, I've got one group called VPN groups. You might have multiple groups. You might use sales, HR, IT, etc. And you can do enrollment. Now, and this will automatically send. If you don't have imported phones, it'll automatically send to the users. In my case, I'm not going to use either. And that's it. We can now start with the syncing of the directory. But before we do that, let's go back and check the users. And now we have four users, admin, HR, IT, and sales one. Two new users should get added when I hit the directory sync here. And that's bad user one and bad user two. So let's go ahead and do that. And we can see sync two users and one group, that VPN underscore group, I think it's called. And now you can see bad user one and bad user two is has been added. And bad user one had an email address, bad, bad user two, does not. So you want to make sure that you're consistent there. And we're going to send a email enrollment. And this is what it looks like on a mobile device. So we'll go ahead and start the process, hit mobile phone, hit your phone number, you know, verify after maybe text or call me. 
and then your finish you put you select your default whether it be push right or text and, and we're gonna send a push to the user here make sure that the user can uh, get approved and and they were perfect everything's working but let's just t check an application to make sure it's working uh, with the application as well bad user one probably not a user that you would allow logging in with VPN but this is just a test we'll go ahead and hit login we already know this works this is all done in the previous videos we'll send the push but we don't know if it works for bad user bad user one should get a prompt here let's go into duo hit there it is hit accept and this will finish off and the connection will get established so pretty cool the one note to make is just because you're not using LDAP S or start TLS and that's clear internally any communication to duo though is through TLS we're gonna create a quick user here just to see a user from start and we're gonna sync a single user last time what we did was we ran a sync across the entire directory this we're gonna specifically look for HR2 and you know you can send an enrollment to them specifically etc now the dual auth proxy service that we've just installed the Active Directory sync portion of that that we've configured will randomly go out and reach and sync the directory services so if you remove a user it would get removed in duo etc we'll go ahead and put in a username here uh, email address we'll hit apply hit OK make sure they're part of that VPN group as you saw and we'll go ahead here and sync the directory or in our case we're going to type in just the HR2 user and this is separated by commas and you can do up to 50 usernames so that's it HR2 is now imported never authenticated we can quickly send them an email put or email so they can get through the onboarding process pretty easy even configuring the integration with Active Directory